Hey everyone, welcome back, episode number 20, and today we are starting our series on the Cobra Class 4 Industrial Leather Sewing Machine by Leather Machine Company. So that's this guy right here. First thing we're gonna do is set it up. After you have unboxed it and received it from your freight shipment, this machine is very heavy. I'm just letting you know, uh, it is safer and it's highly recommended that you have someone else help you, but if you don't, don't worry, I'll show you how to set this up solo. So, all right, let's just dive right on in and let's set up the Cobra Class 4 sewing machine. The very first thing you wanna do is attach the caster wheels to the base. Elevating this base makes it so much easier to screw on and lock the wheels in place. After positioning the stand right side up, you wanna take a look at the tabletop. These are the four machine base mounting holes that you will bolt the machine to the tabletop. So before mounting the sewing machine head to the tabletop, we need to put on the hand wheel. This shaft has a grooved section which is very specific to the hardware. The mounting hardware has two screws, one flat tip and one domed tip. The domed screw will be affixed to the grooved shaft. Slide the hand wheel on the shaft. Make sure the pulley side of the hand wheel must be facing outwards. Just a reminder, the dome screw must be perpendicular to this slotted shaft. All right, you guys, this is where the heavy lifting begins. So please use someone as an assistant. If you don't, I'll show you how to do it solo. Watch your fingers, watch your back, don't hurt yourself. And let's get this mounted to the tabletop. Let's go. Grab your heavy machine and place it on the table. The machine head will not balance and stay upright unless you hold it down with either the bolts or the belt. Here's the quickest way to get the belt secured. Lower the belt through the table slot and attach it to that small grooved area on the speed reducer. Then tilt the machine and attach the other end of the belt to the hand wheel. When you place the machine head back down, the belt will hold it in place for you so that way you can continue to mount the bolts to the table. You'll need one washer on top and a washer with a nut on the bottom. Once all four bolts are installed, tighten them down. Next step is to add the chain. There is an S hook that the chain attaches to and then it feeds down through the hole in the base which drops to the foot pedal. The presser foot has an S-hook already there. Attach the chain with the adequate tension. You don't want it too loose or too tight. The remaining chain links will go back up the chain and attach with another S-hook so there is no dangling. Next up is to add the LED lamp. The plug is not assembled because the wire needs to be in position first. Put a large washer to the light base and then thread the wire through the table hole. On the underside, you will use another large washer and nut to lock the light in place. For the electrical plug, place the wires in the slot and then lay them across the plug to secure everything by sliding the cap back on. This gets plugged into the back of the motor and you can manage the access cable by wrapping it around other wires 
or you can coil it up and then use a zip tie to secure it in place. Final step is to add the thread stand next to the LED light. Place that protective and the metal washer down and then mount the stand with the remaining large washer and nut. Congratulations, your machine is all set up to use. Now let's take a brief look at the Cobra Class 4. All right, that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this information has helped you, and I'll see you on next week's episode. Take care.